In this video, we're going to be uprising footage from 1080p all the way to 4K, which is four times as big. But DaVinci Resolve makes it super easy with their new AI super scale feature. And if you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you wanna know any of the music or the gear we use to make our videos, I've left all links in the description. Let's jump in. To get started, I have DaVinci Resolve open and we're gonna load a clip into our timeline. This is a clip Ali and I filmed when we went to BC a few years ago. We met up with a friend of ours, Adam, and he took us to a racetrack. He actually owns this Lotus car and it was such an amazing day uh, racing around the track. This footage was filmed in slow motion. I think it was 120 FPS in uh, 1080p because that's what the limitation of the GH5 was back then. Now, as you can see here, the clip is 1920 by 1080, and our timeline is the same. It's a 1080p uh, timeline. So our goal is to take this HD 1080p footage and upscale it or up it to 4K, which is four times larger. And to do that, we of course need to make our timeline 4K first. So let's just right click, go to timelines, timeline settings, and then instead of using project settings, we can choose our own. We will select 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, and then we'll go down to OK. Then you can see that our timeline has changed to 4K, but our clip is still HD. And you may be wondering why our HD much smaller clip is still full frame within our 4K much larger timeline. The reason is in your timeline under settings, we have mismatched resolution set to scale entire image, so if we go back to center crop with no resizing, this will make a little more sense. Now you can see this is the true size of 1080p footage in a 4K timeline. And on this clip on the right side here with the inspector open under the video tab, all the way at the bottom, we have this AI super scale. Now in recent updates, they've made this even better, which is why I am doing a tutorial on it because I find it actually pretty usable now and also it has a, a noise reduction feature. So as you can see, just by turning it on, it has automatically scaled it up to 2X, which filled our frame. You can see that there are some other options here. If we go to 2X, that doesn't say enhanced. It is adding a bit of sharpness and noise reduction, but we want, of course, to enhance it. And then sharpness and noise reduction, we would do that to taste depending on the footage we have. For example, if your shot was filmed at night, and there was lots of black areas, you know, lots of shadows. Those darker areas in your frame tend to have more video noise, and this is a great way to clean it up. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's say 300%. And then I'll use the middle mouse button, which is the scroll button. I'll click down and we can move this around because we are zoomed in quite a bit. And just so it doesn't revert back to the smaller frame, let's uh, go ahead and turn back on the scale entire image to fit. Putting the timeline setting back like that will allow us to uh, turn this off and on without the scale changing so that it's easier to see what the effect is doing. Make sure that your clip is selected and then you will see once we turn this off how much of a difference this is making. It is pretty incredible. So let's turn this off. So you can see how soft and low quality this is compared to this. There's a lot more detail and sharpness, but we're not seeing all that much uh, noise, and that's because of the uh, noise reduction. I think it does a pretty good job in this version. And while up 1080p to 4K with this feature works pretty well, as you can see, the real amazing superpower with this is the fact that if you're working with even lower quality, such as standard definition, where it's, let's say, 20 year old footage, and maybe it was taken from like an old VHS tape, and you want that to be 4K, for example, well, this is the approach I would take. I would, you know, in that case, go up to like maybe 4K enhanced. And if we want to adjust the sharpness, we can increase that. Although I find it ends up making uh, things too sharp. So I'll undo that. And then the same for noise reduction, again, use it to taste. And one last thing, you can change this even on just 1080p footage working in 4K, you can choose the 4X enhanced. 
And because this car is going past me pretty quickly, there is some motion blur, so don't confuse that. Uh, we are zoomed in 300%. Uh, this is the AI super scaled version that's enhanced. Let's turn that off and I'll show you the difference. So you can see here toward the hood, there is some detail that gets added when it's on, but overall it's not doing a super great job in this uh, scenario. And that might be because we have the 4K enhanced. So let's go to the 2K enhanced. Yeah, as you can see, look at the wheels here. It's making quite a big difference. Without it on, this is just kind of mushing all together. Just sort of softness and blending, whereas with it's on, a lot more detail comes back and you see a lot more of the sort of edges and detail of uh, the different parts of the car, especially on the side mirror here. Have a look at this spot here. I would say this is doing a much better job with the 2X enhanced compared to the 4X. And it's important to know that because when you first open this and see that there's only three different settings. You may think that there's not that many options and it's limited. Being able to change the sharpness, the noise reduction, and go through the different uh, settings here to get different results gives you quite a bit more flexibility. And uh, as you can see, the results can be better if you choose the right settings. And that's it for this DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you want to know any of the music or the gear we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.